Summer has flown by, and it's hard to believe we are down to our final two player interviews to introduce the Saluki Nation. Rollins Aligbe is next up, a freshman that joins us here in Carbondale. Rollins, thanks so much for the time, man. I'm sure it's been a busy summer for you, getting acclimated, finding your new teammates, being a freshman, et cetera. But what's the summer been like for you so far here at SIU? I mean, it's definitely been fun. It's definitely had its up and down, of yeah. course, you know, not just practicing a lot. But besides that, I've, I've connected with my teammates really good. And, like, everything's just coming into place. So, like, hopefully when I come back home, I mean, when I come back from Minnesota, yeah. I get to be able to play and support my teammates too. So, But it's overall, besides that, it's been fun. Even, like, just the atmosphere. Like, I like the – I like Carbondale. So. When you were going through the recruiting process, of course, changing coaches, coaching staff, et cetera, here – when did Southern kind of come on your radar, and how did you get kind of introduced to Coach Nagy and the staff? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, so Southern got on my radar, like, a little bit later, early April, like, around there. So I was down to, like, Central Connecticut, Wofford University, Niagara, and SIUE, actually. That's over in Southern Illinois. So, yep. you know, Coach Reddick, he left SIUE, and he really wanted me, so he – Showed me to Coach Nagy. Coach Nagy said he loved my game. And I came. I came and took a visit two weeks later. And I fell in love with the place. So I ended up going there. And I ended up committing on the spot. So it was just, it all fell into fruition for real. You mentioned Coach Reddick. What was it about him initially that got you interested in him at SIUE? And, and just him as a coach, what drew mm -hmm. you to him? He was, he seemed more genuine than everybody. Like most, like, you know, recruiters and stuff like that. Like he was texting me every day making sure I was good. Like, he was talking to my parents all the time. Like, he was there, like, throughout the whole time. Like, he was really, like, pushing for me, like, than more than ever knew anybody. So, it was, like, it was good to see that type of love, like, especially, like, you know, when you're getting down to the time you have to make a decision. It's just about who shows you the most love and where you feel like you're going to have be at home at. It was easy, Rilo, when you first started here in Kansas. I was like, it's a big dude. Uh, that <laughs> definitely has a lot of upside, a lot of athleticism and a young guy as well with plenty to learn. Mm. But in terms of where you're at in the game of basketball, how long has basketball been in your life? Has it always been the sport that you wanted to pursue? And, of course, when you have the attributes that you have as tall as you have, this is no question a sport that's probably going to lean towards you. Yeah, no, basketball has always been a sport that I've always loved. Like, I think I started when I was about, like, five, six. So, like, when it got to, like, first grade is when I started playing, like, like real with the team and stuff like that on the little hoops and stuff. But, no, it's always been a real thing. I mean, I didn't. I personally didn't think I was going to get to this height. Like, I didn't think I was going to be this big. Nobody really thought. I thought I was going to be, like, the shortest out of all my brothers. But I ended up being the tallest. So now I'm really just taking advantage of what it is and how, like, the game's coming to me and stuff like that. You mentioned your brother's family. For Saluki fans that don't know a lot about your background, like, describe your family, how big it is, and how many of you have pursued an athletic background. So there's five of us, my mom, my dad, and then I have two brothers. I'm the middle child, unfortunately. <laughs> but I have my younger brother. He's 16. He plays for Middlesex Magic up in Boston. He's He, play, he goes to Winchenden, too. So he's a, he's a great player. He's young, talented. And then my older brother, he went to Boston College, but he just transferred to Scene Hall. And he's having fun over there with Coach Holloway and stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, my mom and dad didn't really play sports like that. So we kind of just got ourselves into sports. So it wasn't really like them like influencing us or anything like that. You mentioned your older brother. Of course, him having the chance to go through and already having some experience at the college level. How much did you, did you lean on him just in terms of your process and how you attacked it, what you wanted to look for, in coaches in a program yeah you know like as a freshman and then like having an older brother that's already been through everything that you're going through it was like easy to talk to him all the time like I would call him for like constantly like just trying to get to know like the ins and outs and like what it is in recruiting and like what is the coach telling you about yeah. what is the coach actually like doing for you so it was like he really like I thank him the most because he's really like the one who kept me sane throughout of it because you know like Finding a decision to make to go to college for the next four years is, like, really, really tough. Like, really, really tough. So, like, when my parents would get stressed out and stuff, he would be the one to, like, calm them down and stuff like that. He will calm me down. So, yeah, I, he, he definitely really had a big part in it, too. You as a player, outside of just what you've been gifted with in terms of just your size, et cetera, Rollins, 
what do you believe are some of your biggest strengths? Like, even though you're a freshman, you know there's plenty of more where you can continue to grow and develop your game. Mm -hmm. What could be some strengths right away where you can help this team? Well, I think I think uh, I have a nice touch. Like, I can sh I, I can say I can shoot. Um, I think I'm really patient sometimes. Like, I can get to the basket. And for my size, like, I have, like, a better handle than most, not being yeah. cocky or anything like that. But I think I can handle, like, the ball pretty good, like, kind of have a guard game. But I can still get down with the big mans. Like, that's why, like, I can play the five and the four, too, because I can, like, shoot it and I can post up because I'm not, like – nobody's going to, like, really out-bump me for real because how big I am. But, no, for sure. Like, I think this year, like, I really can contribute by, like, by, like, my hustle too. Like, I play I play really hard, and I'm really competitive when it comes to basketball. Like, I don't want to lose anything. So when I'm out there, like, I'm playing to, like, win for sure. So There's the adjustment period of being a freshman, coming in, just – higher level, all, all of those things which are obvious, which we talked about with Isaac last week. Mm -hmm. But for you, Rilo, what were, what were maybe some of the biggest adjustments for you, just getting here in the summer, getting acclimated? What were some growing pains, for a lack of a better way of describing yeah, it? Yeah, no, it was definitely tough, like, the first week, like, getting all acclimated yeah. and stuff like that. It was real, I was really nervous the first, like, the first two days of practice. Like, I was, like, actually shaking. Like, I couldn't go to sleep the night before and stuff like that. It's just, like, as a freshman, you just have, like, so much pressure. Like, you want to make sure, like, oh, you're here for the right reasons, like, trying to keep up with everybody else. But I think, like, the hardest part was just kind of, like, getting used to, like, the pace. Because, you know, like, it's a different pace from high school. But, like, you know, just playing the right type of defense and stuff like that, I think that's the one thing, like, I'm kind of, like, trying to get on top of is just, like, closing out, like, sliding my feet, getting on defense and stuff like that. But besides that, after the first week, it was fine. Like, I wasn't, like, I lost all my nerves and stuff like that. So Another part of it, too, Rollins, or at least one of the popular things that you hear from younger players that are making that transition from where they were in high school to college <coughs> is the difference from the mental side yeah. and the IQ side, the terminology side. Yeah. How much of your time is spent – especially I know over the last couple of weeks where you haven't been able to practice as much as you would like. Mm -hmm. But how can you use that as a benefit, Rilo, of really diving in and trying to learn it from an IQ perspective to help yourself when you do get back and you're ready to go, yeah. that you can almost be quicker because mm -hmm. you've been able to utilize the time to learn yeah. all the schemes? I, like, I try to, like, just, like, pay attention as close as I can to practice. Like, like I just had to, to, like, hone in on what I'm looking at so I don't have to, like, when I come back in, like, I'm not, like, I don't know exactly what I'm doing. But I think I catch on to things pretty quickly. So, like, I don't, it's not really like, oh, I'm going to be out there confused when I come back or anything like that. So, I mean, the mental side is definitely tough. Like, it's, you know, it's a lot of things being thrown at you as a freshman, and you just got to, like, pick up on the spot and stuff like that. Of course, it takes time, and coaches have to be patient. But, like, you know, it gets past the time, and then you got to, like, make sure you're on it on yourself. So, Not that, I mean, maybe it was a huge part in you wanting to come here, but Coach Nagy, you look at his background, he's had a lot of success developing mm -hmm. really good quality big men. <clears throat> yeah. And not just guys who just post up in the basket. You mentioned your ability to be able to shoot as well. Yeah. And we've been able to see that this summer. How much does that intrigue you? And maybe not intrigue is the right word for me to use with you, Rilo, but how much more excited does that make you to work with Coach Nagy to know that he's had a track record of working with guys like yourself and really developing some good players? No, it really makes me excited, like, just to see, like, even when I was on my visit, like, seeing how he, like, plays his fours and fives and stuff like that. He gives them a lot of freedom, and, like, if you post up, he's going to, like, demand them to give you the ball. So, like, I just feel like once I get comfortable, like, I'll just really get intact with, like, what he's trying to, like, approach. And, like, I mean, he's told me I can shoot it and stuff like that. Like, he's not telling me I can't because, obviously, I have the ability to. Yeah. So, like, I'm really excited to f see what it's going to be like this year. This summer, for you and Jaheim, you guys have had to have, a, honestly, a lot of the workload early, especially mm -hmm. in the summer on yourself with yeah. Jorge getting here late and others kind of uh, trickling in. Yeah. How did that benefit you guys? Like, where do you feel you and Jaheim benefited from that workload in June and early July? Yeah, uh, I think I think it definitely helped. I mean, you know, Jaheim is a great player, and me and him, you know, we stay in the same place. Like, we go at it. We talk about it a lot. Like, that's what kind of the coaches want us to do. They just want us two to, like, really go at it because we're both freshmen and we both, like, want the opportunity to play. So, 
Like, I mean, it, it got us, like, definitely a step ahead of some people. Like, as a freshman, you see it all, like, from the first day of practice to now. So, like, I think it's definitely, like, really beneficial for us, too. And I love competing against him. Like, he makes me better. I try to make him better, so. What is it about the competition with Jaheim specifically that you like? And it seems like you guys have some good friendly ban- <laughs> friendly banter as well throughout the summer. I mean, we're kind of like – we're kind of like the same build, but like he's obviously he's bigger than me, so it's just like it's definitely a challenge because like he's probably bigger than me, and it's like it's harder for him, like it's easier for him to like back me down and stuff like that. Like I gotta actually use my strength. Well, like if he's guarding me, it's like I'm quicker than him, so yeah. like I can like he has to really guard and stuff like that. But no, it's definitely like it's really really fun. Like he he's definitely pushing me to become a better player every day. As a younger guy. Even though this team may not have a ton of experience together mm-hmm. and everyone's going through those growing pains at the same time, yeah. there's a lot of guys on this roster, Ryo, that have a ton of, ton of playing experience. Mm-hmm. What have you tried to soak up from the guys who have the experience, who have played, that's been key to you that, you've, that you're trying to absorb from them that can help you early on in yeah. your career? Yeah, I mean, we got a, gr- a lot of great leaders like, you know, Damian Mayo. Like, he, he definitely helps a lot. Like, he's with his vocalness and stuff like that. Like, encouraged me to be vocal, too. So... Like, when he's when he's telling me what to do, like, I try to be all ears and stuff like that. And I just, like, you know, you just see the experience from other people, like, the way they play, the way they carry themselves, like, the amount of times they go to the gym and stuff. So I just try to, like, reciprocate that and try to, like, do the same because as a freshman, you know, like, it's just – it's a lot on you. So you just try to, like, look up to your peers and stuff like that. I think there's always, when you get down to it, Rilo, when you look at teams that have a lot of success, not all of them – necessarily totally get along there are teams that are very skilled and they just have a way to bond together and build together and be the type of team that they have Mm -hmm. but teams who have special seasons really enjoy being around each other and there's just a special vibe Mm -hmm. i know it's early there's still plenty of time and you integrate as a freshman Mm -hmm. but what do you enjoy about the guys what do you enjoy about the personalities within the locker room that have been welcoming you in no everybody has a big personality nobody's like a debbie downer or anything like that it seems like everybody's in touch with everybody so we have a lot of fun with each other especially on the court like we all try to bring the same intensity everybody's vocal so like it's not like oh we're just like a quiet team and like coach has to yell at us to talk and stuff like that so no it's def- it's definitely fun like like connecting with the guys and seeing how obviously like we're not as close as we like are going to be soon but like you know that comes in when the season starts and stuff like that you spend way more time like in the air and stuff like that on the court and locker rooms and stuff like that so I think right now it's definitely like building up for what it's going to be throughout the season and stuff like that fans don't necessarily get to see a, a ton in terms of the short clips that we provide on social media but what I love too about your personality is you can engage with the guys and get them going specifically move mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> one of the things I love so whether it's bowling you're on them during bowling whether it's one-on-one when you get a chance mm-hmm. to go and practice what is it with you and Moo I mean like you re- you really have a way to to get Moo Davis a, l- a little bit wound I mean, up he, he's a big personality guy like he talks <laughs> yeah. a lot like he has a rebuttal for everything so like it's fun to go at him like we play ones all the time and stuff yeah. like that like we hang out besides just basketball so he just has a big personality that you like like to be around. So it's always fun being competitive, and he's a very competitive person. Like you see by the way he plays, by the way he holds himself, like he's really competitive. So, like I am too, and I just want to be around that like type of vibe where like I'm. I want to make other people better while they're making me better too. Now it's been a while since we had move on, mm-hmm. but so I say that because you can't really have much of a rebuttal here. So you're the one that's going to get the last say. Mm-hmm. When you think of those shooting competitions that you've had with Moo, like where does Rilo stack up against Moo? Like, oh, what, what, I think what? I'm definitely ahead of him. <laughs> you see it. No questions. Yeah, like I, it's 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 that's supposed to be normal. Like, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, he's a great shooter though. I, he, he's a great he's, shooter. A, he's a really good shooter, and it's mm-hmm. you know when you look at the roster, like I'm going through Rilo, and I just feel like, I mean, next to your name, shouldn't it just say big guard? Yeah. I mean, that's what I think so for sure. I, I don't know if Moo would agree with that, but we'll maybe we can get maybe we can get you and Moo on together, and then yeah. that can really settle. I'm turning into a big guard. Now I've I, always been one. Now I will say the one one-on-one game that I actually filmed, Moo did get the better of it. He got but, okay, but that that's the one that's documented. That's the one that's documented. 
maybe they're. Just, I just need to get a heads up on when they're right after mo- that. The same day <laughs> I beat them. So oh, well, there. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm sure Moo would make the argument that it didn't count because it didn't get on. Didn't get on camera. <laughs> yeah. uh, Ryo, I know you're about to go away for a little bit, but just uh-huh. um, in terms of the rest of the summer, um, what's most important to you right now? Just to try to soak up to where. Um, you can continue to improve. Whether it's, I know a lot of that is mentally and off the court right mm-hmm. now. But then when you get back, when you come back in August and be cleared and, and ready to roll, uh, what you really want to hit the ground running? On I just like I want to make sure that like I can get in shape as quick as I want. Yeah. I want to, but like yeah, like you said, like the mental part, like that's what I'm just trying to like get over. Like just stay locked in and stay in touch with the team, not trying to like really isolate myself and stuff like that. But like when I come back, like I'm like all gas, no breaks. Like I don't, like I want to get right at it. Like I'm, I've been watching these guys play for the last like three, four weeks, <laughs> yes. and it's like I just want to compete too because I love the game of basketball. So, absolutely, Rollins. We really enjoyed uh, one getting to catch up with you and having Saluki fans get to know the personality in mm-hmm. yourself. And whenever you get back here, looking forward to full speed ahead yes, here sir. in the month of August. Man, yes, appreciate sir. the time. Thank you, thank you, thank you.